हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर इज विथ यू तपन कुमार बसंतिया फ्रॉम नेशनल रिसोर्स सेंटर फॉर एजुकेशन सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार गया बिहार फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड टू सेशंस ऑफ आवर डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग पेडागोगी एंड पेडागोगिकल कंटेस्ट प्रेजेंट सेशन विल बी द थर्ड सेशन और लास्ट सेशन ऑफ डिस्कशन ऑन द सेम टॉपिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग पेडागोगी एंड पेडागोगिकल कंटेस्ट वर्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस फाइनल सेशन ऑफ डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक द प्रेजेंट डिस्कशन विल मोस्टली फोकस ऑन ग्राउंड लेवल रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर पेडागोगी एंड प्रिंसिपल्स एंड कंटेस्ट ऑफ पेडागोगी दी हेडिंग्स लाइक सिस्टमिक रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द यूज ऑफ पेडागोगी पेडागोगिकल टूल्स एंड मीडिया टीचिंग लर्निंग टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड पेडागोगी अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लासरूम क्लाइमेट और कंपोजिशन एंड पेडागोगी रोल ऑफ टीचर इन द कंटेक्स्ट ऑफ पेडागोगिकल सक्सेस एंड पेडागोगिकल प्रिंसिपल्स एंड कंटेक्स विल बी मेनली कवर्ड इन दिस सेशन लेट अस प्रोसीड फॉर आवर डिस्कशन लेट अस डिस्कस ऑन सिस्टमिक रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द यूज ऑफ पेडागोगी ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए हाउस डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल्स लाइक सैंड ब्रिक सीमेंट आयरन रोड एटसेट्रा आर रिक्वायर्ड ए सिंगल काइंड ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इज नॉट एनफ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए हाउस फर्दर ईच कैटेगरी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल नीड्स टू बी यूज्ड इन प्रोपोर्शनेट मैनर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए हाउस इन द सेम वे फॉर इफेक्टिव यूज ऑफ पेडागोगी इन एन एजुकेशनल सेटअप देयर इज नीड ऑफ डिफरेंट इनग्रेडियंट्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इट्स यूज एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन इफेक्टिव यूज ऑफ पेडागोगी इन एजुकेशनल सिस्टम रिक्वायर्स दीज सिस्टमिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स लाइक कंडूसिव एनवायरमेंट टीचर रेडीनेस और प्रिपेयरनेस लर्नर रेडीनेस और प्रिपेयरनेस appropriate teaching learning materials and aids management of different materials and aids and different other considerations and requirements this gives a clear message that systemic or institutional requirements or readiness is a precondition for better use of pedagogy in an institution and an institution must ensure the same in pedagogic use and implementation process Next, let us see what are the pedagogic tools and media that are used in pedagogic process. We know that pedagogic delivery doesn't occur in vacuum. Rather, a number of tools and media are used in pedagogic delivery process. When subjects or contents of teaching are delivered through pedagogy, it requires many media. or tools many a time many of us claim that lecturing or the verbal expression is the sole medium for pedagogic delivery process but it is not the fact pedagogic delivery is conducted through a number of tools and media besides lecturing like playway and games project and practical work craft and handwork drawing and painting seminar and presentation audio visual aids including the information and communication technology related materials etc let us discuss teaching learning technologies and pedagogy or how teaching learning technologies guide the pedagogy or pedagogical process since pedagogy is concerned with process of teaching learning so it is determined and influenced by different technologies developed in the areas of both teaching and learning let us discuss what are the different technologies that are related to teaching and learning which guide pedagogic process one is maximus of teaching there are some common principles which are followed in the process of teaching they may be called maximus of teaching some of the maximus of teaching are teaching from near to far 
teaching from part to whole, teaching from known to unknown, teaching from simple to complex, teaching from concrete to abstract, etc. All these maximums of teaching in a different ways contribute to the pedagogic delivery process. Another technology is micro teaching. Micro teaching is a type of teacher training on teaching skills. In micro teaching, a teacher is trained on different teaching skills in order to use them effectively in the classroom situation. A teacher trained on micro teaching skills can give proper pedagogic delivery in classroom. Some important micro teaching skills are skill of introducing a lesson, skill of explanation, skill of illustration with example, skill of using blackboard or whiteboard or smartboard, skill of stimulus variation, skill of reinforcement and there are many other skills or uh, micro teaching skills. All these skills one way or other contribute a lot in pedagogic delivery process. Another technological development is models of teaching. Different models of teaching are developed by teaching theorists in order to guide teaching process in a desired direction. Pedagogue or teacher uses such models of teaching in pedagogic delivery process. The example of some of the important models of teaching are concept attainment model by Jeremy S. Brunner, advanced organizer model by D. P. Osuel, non-directive teaching model by Carl Rogers and group investigation model by John Dewey. Like these models, there are large number of models of teaching which facilitate pedagogic process. Hence, in pedagogic process, these models must be consulted and followed by pedagogues as well as other stakeholders of pedagogy. Yes. Learning theories are another development. Psychologists and learning theorists have developed learning theories from time to time to understand and accelerate learning process. The most significant objective of pedagogy is to understand learning and facilitate learning. So, a pedagogue must consult and use learning theories in pedagogic delivery process. The common schools of learning or learning theories that have impact on pedagogic process are behaviorism, gestalt theories or cognitive field theories, psychoanalysis, humanistic theories, etc. Instructional technologies are another development in teaching learning technology and they are almost latest development in teaching learning. Instructional technologies are such technologies which help in designing as well as facilitating instruction or teaching learning process. Different categories of instructional technologies including linear programming, branching programming, mathematics and system analysis techniques have significant implication for pedagogy and pedagogic process. Like these technologies, there are many other teaching learning technologies developed in order to accelerate teaching learning process. Those must be given due place in our pedagogic process. Let us move ahead to discuss on understanding classroom climate or composition and pedagogy. While using pedagogy, the different aspects of a classroom including its climate as well as composition shall be taken into consideration. The common aspects of classroom that shall be considered in pedagogic implementation process are language of the child, socio-economic and cultural background of the child, use of instructional materials, curriculum load, pluralistic issues of classroom in terms of caste, class, religion, gender, race, color, etc. Learning resources available for the same, teacher pupil ratio and many more things. Further, the role of teacher in pedagogical process is very important or very vital. A teacher plays a major role in pedagogic success. Let us define the role of teacher in the context of pedagogical success. Really, 
the success of pedagogical process or pedagogical transaction process to a maximal extent depends upon the role of a teacher. A number of abilities or competencies are required on the part of the teacher for pedagogical success. Three important abilities or competencies of the teacher which contribute a lot in pedagogical success or pedagogical success process are knowledge competency of the teacher, performance competency of the teacher and autonomy and flexibility. Let us find the meaning of these three. Firstly, knowledge competency. A teacher must have sound knowledge in theories and principles of pedagogy as well as process of using the pedagogy in classroom situation. It is basically concerned with cognitive competence on pedagogy. Secondly, performance competency. Performance competency deals with skill of the teacher to use pedagogy in actual classroom situation. It is basically known as practical competency on pedagogy. Lastly, autonomy and flexibility. The freedom and flexibility in the classroom plays a vital role for the use of pedagogy. A teacher uses pedagogy in a classroom in an effective manner only when he or she has adequate freedom and flexibility to use the same in the classroom. Let us shift our discussion to pedagogical principles and context. This is the last theme or point of discussion in this last session. Here, we will discuss some common pedagogical principles and context and some don't principles in pedagogical context. Let us discuss the same. At first, we will discuss common pedagogical principles and context. These pedagogical principles and context shall be followed in any classroom situation. Some of such pedagogical principles and contexts are like this. Try to attain or touch the last bench student of the class. Try to teach the weakest child of the class and try to make him or her best. Try to reach him or her who is not reachable. Trust the child, but be vigilant in him or her. What maximum knowledge a child can achieve or gain, try for that. Believe that a child can go beyond the teacher also. Consider that school is a place of interaction, but not a place of dispatching the learning materials. Consider classroom as a group, but at the same time, there is need of individual attention in classroom. Consider teaching as a sharing process, but not a unidirectional activity. Consider that all children are capable to learn. Consider that all children can learn in multiple ways. Consider that the pace of learning of all children is not the same. Start at a point what a child knows. Involve all the senses of the child in the learning process. Transact at the level of student or come down to the level of students. Do not use such kind of words or bombastic words what the child cannot understand. Touch all level of development of a student. It may be memory level, it may be understanding level, it may be reflective level and try to develop all the levels. Do not provide information alone to the students, but develop critical thinking among them. Try to transform information to knowledge and knowledge to wisdom. Make the child a natural and active learner in a class. Motivate the child for learning as motivation is a precondition for learning. Understand that long term comprehensive and holistic development of a child shall be prime motto of any pedagogical process. 
understand that rectification and development of student shall be motto of classroom teaching and pedagogy. Even if any kind of negative reinforcement including punishment if any is given in the class, it must be used for rectification and development of a student. Understand that controlling does not refer to restricting the freedom. Link the learning to the practical life or practical values of one's life. Because if pedagogy has no relationship with real life, then it is futile or meaningless. Link classroom or school knowledge with natural and social environment of the child including his or her home, community and society. Consider the environment of the child as a medium or tool for teaching or teach through environment. Understand that acquisition of disciplinary knowledge is not independent of pedagogy. Follow an interdisciplinary and integrated approach in pedagogic implementation process. Promote freedom and flexibility among learners in the learning process because freedom and flexibility create stress free and joyful environment for nourishing children's creativity and imagination. Consider all the latest pedagogic principles in teaching learning process like constructive pedagogy, critical pedagogy, multicultural pedagogy, culture specific pedagogy inclusive pedagogy, multilingual pedagogy and many more others. Be out of your caste, class, religion, gender, ethnicity, etc. while entering into the class, because your vision, your mission, your religion and everything in the class is teaching, but not anything else. Further, treat all the children equally irrespective of their gender, color, socio-economic background, language, caste and so on. Understand that the personality of the teacher influences a lot in pedagogic process. So, be a role model in the class by imbibing the value of impartiality, commitment, punctuality, honesty, academic competency and so on. The latest national curriculum framework 2005 developed by NCERT stresses on five significant principles of curriculum development. These principles are connecting knowledge to life outside school, ensuring that learning shifts away from rote methods, enriching the curriculum so that it goes beyond the textbook, making examination more flexible and integrating them with classroom life and nurturing an overriding identity informed by caring concerns with the democratic polity of the country. All these five principles of curriculum development can also be considered under pedagogic concerns and principles. In the process of preparing curriculum, as well as transacting the same or teaching learning process or pedagogic process, these principles must be followed in any educational setup. Then come for discussing some don't principles in pedagogical context. Those don't principles shall also be normally followed in any classroom situation. Some of such don't principles are do not consider the child as an adult, do not think that child knows nothing or has a vacuum mind or knows less than you, accept that the child has some knowledge, do not think that the child can learn nothing or can learn everything, consider the assets and limitations of a child in the learning process. Do not expect too much from the child. Do not believe that 
one approach of learning is beneficial in all the contexts. For example, do not claim that constructivist approach of learning has merits over objectivist approach of learning in all the situations. But it is a fact that objectivist approach of learning has merits over constructivist approach of learning in many situations. As objectivist approach of teaching is based on the basic principles of science and objectivity, do not create too much difference between home, school and society. Do not hamper the quality of learning at the cost of quantity of learning. In view of our discussion in all these three sessions on the topic understanding pedagogy and pedagogical context, it may be summarized that an education system can hardly be visualized and run without pedagogy. It has an astounding or emerging role for both quantitative expansion and qualitative improvement of our education. Let us join our hands for creating a better pedagogical endeavor in our educational setup. Thank you for listening me, remaining with me and watching this video. All the best. Bye bye.